Yo, what's going on, everybody? We are back today for another video. Um, this video is going to be about uh, the SEC uh, talking about their own playoff and all that. So, I'm going to give my take on it. Make sure you like and subscribe. Really appreciate you share all that. But the main point of this video is how Greg Sankey said uh, today that the SEC can just move away from the other conferences to complete, um, do their own playoff and all that. Uh, we'll also talk about uh, Kentucky's offensive coordinator leaving. Um, that's some big news around college football. And uh, why not also talk about... Uh... No, that's going to be its own video. That's too big of a... I was going to put the Saban's interview in this video, but that's too big of a topic. But anyways, we'll... I'll come up with something else. Anyways, first off, uh, the SEC, <sighs> Greg Sankey. Do you realize how dumb you have to be to actually believe that this is going to happen? I, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I know Uncle Lou made a video on it saying it's a terrible idea, but it's just like, do you know how dumb you have to be to actually think that this is has a chance of happening? If this were to happen, they couldn't get, this is Greg Sankey getting caught up in his feelings. He might be the best con commissioner, but this is him getting caught up in his feelings. Zero chance. <laughs> This happens. I mean, I don't know why anyone like Uncle Lou or whatever thinks this has a chance of happening, <laughs> but this doesn't. Uh, I heard, I saw Ballard's video. Ballard, you know, I get what you're saying, man, but this is no chance of happening. So <laughs> I don't even want to waste my time talking about it. But because Greg Sankey gets caught up in his feelings, we're going to talk about it. So. If the SEC were, you, no, this, no, <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this. All right, I'm going to try. So basically, if the SEC were to break away with their own 14 playoff, uh, it would be Alabama, no, it would be Georgia, Alabama, Ole Miss, and we doing divisions, two teams from each division or whatever. I don't know. We're going to say, we're going to say we're not, and we're going to put, uh, We'll, actually, we'll say we are, and we'll put Kentucky in there. So, top two teams for each division. Playoff. It, like, do you see, know how weird that sounds to do something like that and decide that's your national champion? First of all, you can't be a national champion unless you compete with the rest of the conferences. So, it's just like, what? You know? It's him getting caught up in his feelings. This is zero chance of happening. I think it's a joke that he even said it. I think he embarrassed the SEC uh, as a conference and as a whole. Um, I think he needs to drink some uh, big boy juice and uh, grow up. That's that's my honest take on it. I'm, j I'm just being honest. Okay. <laughs> Now going into a different topic, uh, Kentucky's offensive coordinator leaving. Okay, now if you don't know, Kentucky's offense, even in the better Mark Stoops years, have been it, it's been limited, a little bit just died out. Really, you had the Benny Snell offense in twenty eighteen. You had the Terry Wilson run around offense get injured. Or the the Lynn Bolden offense twenty nineteen, the twenty twenty AJ Rose. It's just like, and this year they just okay they opened it up a little bit this year. You had the keep away offense last year. They opened it up a little bit this year, but still not really where Kentucky, where Kentucky is playing right now. They can open up a little bit more, and they're choosing not to. Uh, I mean like. Will Levis, he's fine. I don't see a problem with him. Just Kentucky, they really don't open things up. They run the ball great, but right, we're going to see who they hire, man. Do they, do they want to keep their old school styles of running the ball and playing defense, which is no problem with that, or are they going to open it up a little bit, you know? Uh, I think they can have the same offense I had last year. I don't think they can go back to keep away. Keep away is not no that that doesn't win you football games. Although I do think uh, 
I do think you need to just, you know, do what George is doing in a way. You know, you don't got to throw it all the time, but throw it a little bit, just like Georgia. Play your defense, and you know, yeah, you know that that's gonna win. You know, as long as you have the talent and the players. And Kentucky just signed their best recruiting class ever, so oh, they definitely got the talent now. <laughs> uh, they just need the growth, you know, because uh, over the past four years and all that, Kentucky hasn't been recruiting great. They recruit better if Mark Stoops is going to be a dangerous team for the future. I was going to talk about Saban's interview in this video, but I decided I'm going to change my mind. That interview, that, that topic is way too big for it to go in one video. I'm going to have to push that to another video, but I will talk about something else to entertain y'all for this video. Um, Missouri safety gets arrested. That's... That's issues for them, uh, if you didn't know that. Uh, what else are we going to talk about? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I need to make a video on the amount of SEC coaches been crying this offseason. We're not necessarily crying, but just drama. You got Saban's drama. Saban's had a lot of drama this offseason. Lane Kiffin pitching in. Jimbo. Brian Harson, Brian Kelly. I mean, so many SEC coaches just starting stuff this offseason. Kirby's been, uh, you go to the Kirby bus, though, we just going, uh, we just driving through 12 and 0, getting to the SEC, winning the Natty. It's, that's all we do around here. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got to say, man. Uh, I'm going to make another video on Saban's interview. Uh, I'm going to, I, I'm going to be honest, I had a different impression at first, but then I really looked into the interview. Yeah, yeah, I, I see I see what people are saying now. Although, hey amen. I'll see you later. Uh, yeah, that's all I got for this video. We got Kentucky and LSU here. Uh, Duke being Virginia. Look at LSU being Kentucky, though. Surprised about that. Let's see, uh. It's the uh, free throw here. But y'all, I want to see y'all later, man. But other than that, peace and good dogs. Man. Ooh. Man, oh man. It's a great day to be a Georgia Bulldog. As it always is. Alright. Peace.